What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VW Fitness. Today we are talking about the Steel Supplements pre-workout. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so before we get to today's video, as I kind of typically have been doing, I just want to let you guys know, make sure you visit the website www.vwfitness.club. You guys can pick up some free samples there. It is $5 for shipping, that is it. And uh, you can also pick up your official VW Fitness Shaker Cup on there as well, guys, $8 on there. And uh, we'll get those shipped out as soon as we possibly can. It goes to help support the channel, guys, so I really appreciate you guys at least taking a look at the website and uh, it helps the channel grow, helps us get more supplements. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a teaser here. You know, I've been saying this the entire time that you know the money that you guys put into or the time you guys watch the YouTube videos, I put that right back into the channel. I am letting you guys know, just a little quick teaser here, that uh, in March we are planning a huge giveaway, guys. Huge giveaway, and uh, I'll, I'll kind of talk more about that here in the next week or so, and uh, we'll get more information out to you guys. But today, let's talk about these steel pre-workout and if you guys are new to the channel we like to break down the supplement review into four different parts we talk about number one price number two the label ingredient breakdown taste and then the effects and we'll go to the gym right after i taste this and uh get an effects kind of come back and talk about all that i will let you guys know fully disclaim that i did buy this product with my own money this is one of those products i picked up from naturalbody.com actually not sponsored by them i'm just a huge fan of kind of the information that they put out there and uh, they had a great deal going and it was like 30 bucks and i picked it up it's been sitting on the shelf for a little bit because i've had some other pre-workouts and uh, supplements to review. So uh, definitely excited to get around to this. I have not opened this. You guys can probably see it here. There's a little bit of a seal here. And with that, let's jump right into the price point. Guys, like I just said, it is $30. That is right off of Steel Supplements as well, uh, their website. And uh, like I said, I picked this up at Natural Body. It was $30 there. In terms of the price point, guys, it's kind of a weird one because you know on the label it says 30 full servings, but really that's for half the dose in my opinion so really you know you got to be taking two scoops which is on the label it says take two scoops if you're an experienced lifter or experienced with pre-workout or whatever so with that price point it's going to be you know two dollars a serving and based on that on my consistent scale that is going to come in at a one out of five like i said guys uh two scoops is what we're basing this on we start out with 15.2 grams uh scoop we start with four grams of l citrulline straight up a uh, huge fan of l citrulline i've talked about it many times on the channel uh, i like that they try to put a little bit of some pump product in here i think four grams is on the lower spectrum of an efficacious dose i'm not saying it's a low dose i'm saying it's a low amount in terms of an efficacious and when i say that i basically mean i think that you should have between four and six grams of citrulline so uh, it's on the lower end. Next up, we have two grams of beta alanine. Now, this is this is underdosed in my opinion. Efficacious dose is 3.2. I think you know if you're going to put beta alanine in there, and I get that some people don't necessarily like beta alanine tingles and that flushing feeling. Personally, I feel like it is underdosed here, and it should be 3.2. Next up, we have 750 milligrams of creolphaline. I have not talked about this ingredient this supplement on the channel, I don't think. Now, I used to actually take creolphaline, I think it was about six, five, six years ago. And personally for me, the whole idea of it is that it's a more absorbed creatine. It's, it's faster absorbing, it's gonna get into the body faster. It's actually gonna be absorbed into the body rather than flushed. Like they say, the, the science or the research shows that, you know, based on creatine monohydrate and creocaline, like creocaline is better absorbed. Now, in my personal opinion, I didn't notice any differences when I was taking creocaline versus creatine monohydrate, creatine HCL, any of those sort of things. So this is kind of one of those ones where like they're putting in a, you know, trademarked ingredient here, which, which means there's a lot of research there. But at the same time, I'm personally not a huge fan of creocaline. I think you can get the same effects by just taking regular creatine. And that's just kind of my honest take. 750 milligrams is a little bit low, but if potentially you are absorbing more of that 750 milligrams than five grams of regular creatine monohydrate, then obviously this is a good deal. But I, I think this is kind of subjective to, to each their own. I personally have not noticed the effects being better with creolphaline. Then last up, we have 500 milligrams of the beetroot extract. This is gonna help with the pumps, help with nitric oxide production. And this is actually a pretty good dose. Efficacious dose for someone that's about 150 pounds is about 430, 440 milligrams 
of beetroot extract. For me personally, I'm just over 200. So, you know, it's a little bit low potentially, but I think honestly 500 milligrams is actually a good dose, especially when they stack that with the L-citrulline. All right, so then next up we have one gram of L-tyrosine. We're kind of in the nootropics, uh, mood, energy kind of section here. And uh, one gram I would say is, is a little low. You know, efficacious doses can be anywhere from seven to 10 grams a day, but typically in most pre-workout supplements, we tend to see about half a gram to two grams. So, you know, this is kind of falling right in the middle of there. And so with that, you know, it's kind of up in the air in terms of uh, whether I think it's an efficacious dose or not. Next up, we have 600 milligrams of the lion's mane extract. Again, this is a nootropic of sorts. And uh, you know, 600 milligrams is actually more than what I see in most pre-workouts now hold the phone here. This is actually kind of low in terms of an efficacious dose and what research shows. Efficacious doses here for lion's mane extract is roughly about three grams. So we are very low. Now this is on the higher end of most pre-workout supplements that I've seen. Next up, we have 350 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous. Obviously responsible for that, it's a stimulant, it's gonna help with the energy, gonna help with the focus. 350, that is a good amount. I think most people are, are probably sitting in the three to 350 kind of range. Maybe your higher stim people are sitting at four, 450 kind of in that range. I think 350 milligrams is a great amount. I, I, I feel like 350, 400 is kind of my kind of level spot where I like to sit. All right, then moving right along, we have 250 milligrams, and I'm gonna butcher this, of the L-phenylalanine, okay? Now this, I did some research on, and it's basically another stimulant. It has a very short half-life, which means it is, it is absorbed very quickly into the body, uh, and it gives us that kind of fast-acting energy. Now, 250 milligrams is a good amount. The research kind of shows that you can take up to 500 milligrams three times a day, I think in this case though, because you're kind of stacking this with some other stimulant, obviously the caffeine, and it's a pre-workout stimulant, you don't want to be necessarily just bouncing off the walls in terms of energy. Um, I think this is a nice stack with the caffeine. And, and that's, I guess, one thing to kind of remember here, guys, is that you don't necessarily want efficacious doses in every single ingredient here, because then you're going to really just be packing a huge punch. Like a lot of these things are meant to be stacked you know, with the other ingredients within the supplement label. And, you know, if you were taking one of these ingredients, you know, then you follow that efficacious dose of 500 milligrams three times a day if you want that short burst of energy. Then next up, we have 100 milligrams of the L-theanine. This is kind of a leveling agent. I would say kind of bringing everything down to a medium ground in terms of stimulant and relaxation. A lot of people are not a huge fan of it. Uh, you know, 50 milligrams is kind of what people like to see if they're gonna put anything in there. Like I said, again, you know, this is gonna be very subjective on what your guys' personal preferences are. I personally don't mind it. I don't feel like it really does too much for me unless I'm taking a very high amount of theanine or there's some other ingredients in here that kind of help bring everything down. I know a lot of people are looking for that very high stim, very apparent energy. But for me personally, 100 milligrams is not too bad. Next up, we have 200 micrograms of the Hooperzine A1%. And uh, with that, that is an efficacious dose. I'd like to see that. I think that's a good amount. I've talked about Hooperzine A quite a bit uh, on the channel. And then last up, we have five milligrams of the bioparin black pepper extract gonna help with that absorption of all these kind of actives. Now, in terms of the label, it's fully disclosed, obviously, as you guys can see up here on the screen. And um, I think everything is dosed fairly well. I think some of the things are underdosed here, even if you're stacking it with other ingredients within the label. So with that being said, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I don't think it's like astronomical. I don't think it's under, under, you know, and should not even be on the shelf. But, uh, you know, overall, I think it's a decent label and, and we'll kind of see how the effects go. The other thing to kind of note here, guys, is this is kind of like their, I would say, almost entry level pre-workout. Steel Supplements does offer two other pre-workouts. And when I looked at both the other two, they're kind of the more like, heavy stim, heavy pump, those sort of ingredients, obviously a little bit more expensive. Um, I think this is kind of their more entry level kind of pre-workout and uh, kind of made for the masses, if you will. All right, guys, so moving right along into taste, this does come in four different flavors. Today, we have the Candy Bliss. You guys can see the other flavors we have right here. And uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to try this. Like I said, have not opened this. I'm gonna break this little seal here, or pull this off. Okay, so like I said, guys, this is broken down up into like one scoop or two scoops. We are gonna do two scoops. My label and ingredient breakdown, my serving size and price point is all based on two scoops. Now it does recommend six to eight ounces per scoop. So we are going on the very high end of that. We're doubling it, eight times two, 16. There it is. And uh, like I said, two full scoops here. 
Give this a nice good shake. Cheers. <sighs> okay, in terms of mixability, everything mixed up really well. I, I kind of spaced that. I just really wanted to get to drinking this for some reason. It just smelled really good. Uh, no foaming here, as you guys can see here on the bottle. Uh, sediment on the bottom is very minimal. So in terms of that, it's really good. Uh, in terms of the flavor, wow. It is a fruit explosion in the mouth, okay? A little bit sweet. I would say more sweet than, you know, the last few pre-workouts that I've, I've kind of tested and reviewed. But I would say with this, it, it tastes like kind of that grape Skittles, kind of broken up once you like start sucking on it or you, you know, break it up in your mouth. That kind of flavor, it has that kind of grapey, kind of rainbow flavored. Tastes like if you were to eat like every color of the Skittles and put them all in your mouth and just kind of suck on them and that kind of flavor, you know, rolls into the back of your throat. So. I think the flavor here is actually really, really nice. It's, I feel like it's a little bit sweeter than I feel like some people might want. And granted, I am going full 16 ounces of water rather than doing 12, like the label suggests in a way, 12 to 16 ounces of water. Um, I think overall though, for me personally, the flavor is really nice. I do feel like it is a lot of liquid to kind of slam down and I am kind of one of those people that would prefer to kind of just do less water, put the scoop in and just smash it back or even dry scoop it. But I think this flavor is actually right on point. And with that, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I'm sure you guys could kind of guess that. I am kind of a, a fruity kind of guy. I like the fruit flavors. The fruit punch is kind of my go-to. I know it's kind of a staple flavor, but honestly, for me personally, it's kind of my personal preference. When it comes to most pre-workouts, you know, with Candy Bliss, it's not really like a, a fruit punch, but I would say it kind of encapsulates a lot of different flavors all in one. And it's kind of this tropically, you know, taste the rainbow. I'm just gonna say it. Taste the rainbow, guys. I'm gonna smash the rest of this back. I'm gonna head off to the gym. We got a big back day today. So it'll be really interesting to kind of see how this pre-workout holds up against a major muscle group. And uh, we'll come back, we'll talk about effects. We'll see you guys here soon. All right, guys, just got back from that solid back and bicep workout. Total time was about an hour. I did do 15 minutes on the treadmill today. I just decided to mix it up. So I'm just kind of giving you guys that heads up. Overall, I did get the bay down and tingles within about 10, 15 minutes of taking the pre-workout, I did get this nice little boost of energy pretty quickly. A little bit of some jitters, I would say, at the very beginning, but throughout the entire workout, really no jitters, no stomach issues. In terms of negative effects, none whatsoever. I would say overall, this is more of a, it, it's kind of tough to, to assess, but I feel like the pump was really good. But I do tend to get a really nice pump when I work biceps. That's just kind of naturally what happens with me. But I just feel like overall, really good focus. I would say energy was probably the biggest thing here. I would honestly say potentially this could be a daily driver. It is on the higher end in terms of stims. Uh, is it missing some things? Of course, but uh, with anything, you know, you can always stack this with another product. In terms of the effects, I am gonna give it a four out of five. I do feel like it is missing some of those focus elements, some of those nootropics at a higher level, a higher dose. You know, it's missing some estrogen. I, it does have the black pepper extract in there, which is great to see. But uh, overall, I feel like the workout was really good. No jitters right now. Uh, overall, I feel like I have a good amount of energy to get me through the rest of the day. If that makes any sense, I'm sure you guys have experienced that as well with some pre-workouts. Like I said, I think it's a solid daily driver if you're someone that wants to be taking a good amount of stim and depending on how many times you're working out a week. For me, I am on a six day split right now. Uh, so taking something like this every single day would be kind of a lot. But uh, to each their own and kind of whatever fits into your wheelhouse. So anyway, guys, like I said, if you want to try this, if you want to sample it, make sure you head on over to the website, www.vwfitness.club. And uh, also make sure you snag one of those VW Fitness Shaker Cups, guys. They are going. They're going quick. Comes in blue and white. We do have stock of both colors. So anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.